once again a good morning happy morning whatever you are used to telling i will follow that because i agree with mr amitabh bachchan that english is a very funny language we talk in so many different ways when we are talking in english and so many words interlap over each other i was just thinking when i was you know reviewing this topic of responding to criticism i was just wondering if somebody says i will give you a critical feedback or i will do a critical evaluation you feel happy yes yes please do that but if i say i will criticize you then you get very upset over it see critical criticism they come so close to each other and yet the meaning totally reverses uh, itself but let me start off by telling you that if you have people around you who criticize you who point out your uh, defects who say things to you that you know this is not right or you are not doing this okay or something i think you should rejoice you should celebrate you should be happy there are people who just cannot take criticism the moment somebody starts saying something they immediately respond in a negative uh, manner not only that they divert the topic by throwing it back on somebody else it happens at the highest uh, uh, level of diplomats and politicians and people in power it happens in day to day life with the people whom we are interacting uh, with if i am a hypersensitive person or if i am a defensive uh, uh, person you know what happens is if somebody tells me ali this uh, jerkin or this coat that you are wearing doesn't look very nice on you now that person is giving a comment a criticism on what his opinion is about the jacket which i am wearing instead of trying to evaluate whether that criticism is right or wrong whether i should you know go deeper into it whether i should accept it or whether i should reject it you know what is that typical reaction that we um, uh, give we say as though the shirt that you are wearing is very nice now what was being critically evaluated my coat not his shirt but you see the difference and this is what happens as i told you at every level if you tell a person in power that what you are doing is not correct he will say my predecessor also used to do that if a policeman catches somebody you know and says you are not supposed to park here i will impose a fine on you what about the others who are also parking you have not done, said anything to them why are you telling uh, me or yesterday also people had parked over here where were you yesterday you understand at every level there are people that's what i wanted to start off first with by making you aware that there are a lot of us consciously or subconsciously we do not even want to start accepting or even listening to criticism the moment we find that somebody is saying something against us something which is not very praiseworthy somebody with something which is not appreciative we immediately go on the defensive okay let me also digress for a minute to tell you a very very sad thing which some of us do without even realizing when we you know uh, the way we sometimes criticize or point out to somebody if i feel that the somebody has done one two three good things and has also done one bad thing you know what i do i start off by saying oh you have done this which is good you have done that which is appreciable you have done this which is very very appreciable but this thing which you have done etc etc you know what happens the listener has forgotten everything that came before the but the moment you uttered the word but that person is immediately on the defensive see whether you are doing that 
anyway for those of you who want to constructively criticize others please use the sandwich method say something nice bring out the critical comments and again say something nice say but what i appreciate is this 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 so you have closed it in a positive manner this is called a sandwich technique you know both sides there is bread in between is the masala that you are uh, putting in right so these are some of the very fundamental things anyway i just pointed this out to tell you who are these people why is it that at times we tend to be so unhappy in accepting uh, criticism why do we become so you know defensive i think the root cause lies in our own insecurity if my self esteem is not good enough if i have not done sufficient self awareness and i am not very clear about what are the good things and bad things i am doing where i am okay where i am not okay i become very very sensitive and we try to overcompensate by trying to push the thing back by trying to do something else and also at times trying to be so nice that you have to prove yourself i know so let's start with children a child who is constantly criticized by the significant adults that is parents grandparents teachers whoever it is if the child is criticized continuously the child develops a tendency that the person tries to overcompensate okay you say that i'm not doing good enough no <clears throat> i'll give up everything else and i'll start only studying and studying not to gain knowledge but to get marks because it's only marks that get me the appreciation right knowledge doesn't get me so i will forget about trying to understand the fundamentals and forget about trying to do a true learning or gaining skills i will only focus on trying to ensure that i get good marks that is what we often make this uh, you know uh, mistake anyway now let's talk about looking at the person who criticizes you there are different types of people who will give you critical comments right it's part of life you have to accept it anybody who thinks that i am so perfect that nobody should point out any mistakes i am not doing anything wrong at all they are mistaken and they are going to be in trouble as i mentioned right in the beginning be happy when you have people around you who give you critical comments who criticize you who even put you down even that is a learning exercise haven't you heard of very very big people people in power people in position who stopped you know accepting or listening to anybody who was giving them any uh, criticism and they would surround themselves by what is known as psychophants people who would go on praising whatever they do and such people have gone in for a downfall okay that is as far as big shots are concerned even within a family you will see there may be a person in the family who is so dominant that he does not allow other family members to criticize anything that he or she does and they realize that and they know that it's only going to lead to arguments and this and that so they stop criticizing and this person has lost out an opportunity to get a good feedback on a balanced ma manner that is what i want you to understand okay so with that i thought i you know as usual i make out a few points so bullet points so that you can have something to take back and something to recollect and anis inevitably does a very good job of converting them into very attractive uh, uh, slides so that they catch your uh, attention and you can think about it a little deeper so let us start with understanding how to gracefully accept criticism like i said criticism is there everywhere it is part of life and if it is not then there's something wrong that means you are not allowing people to be frank with you and you are living in a fool's paradise so once you accept that yes people are going to criticize the first thing as i told you little while back 
stay calm don't be in a panic don't be in a hurry to hit back by saying oh your shirt as though it is very great or whatever it is learn to be calm there are 100 different ways by which you can learn how to become more and more calm within uh, yourself the other thing is to give time you know what happens there is a difference between reacting and responding when we say something immediately you know when somebody gives a uh, criticism to us what we do is we react like the examples i gave you earlier but when i take a little bit of time and i think it over i actually respond now for doing that you have to keep an open mind that is very important what do i mean by uh, an open mind for just a few seconds for a few minutes don't be stuck to only your way of thinking however you are convinced about it you may have thought over 10 times and you may be very convinced that what i am doing is right but when somebody gives you a criticism questions what you are doing please listen and listen to understand don't listen to react or don't listen to hit back at that person with an open mind say i don't know whether this person is making sense or not i don't know whether this criticism is actually rational and to be accepted or not doesn't matter right now i will listen if the person is in front of you and talking to you please make steady eye contact that goes a long way see when a person is criticizing you and the person realizes that you are either looking away and not making eye contact or if you are glaring at uh, uh, him your expression is a very angry or a very defensive expression the person knows that i have been able to hit him he knows that i have been able to make him you know react and uh, suffer and that is where another important thing comes in respond to the content and not the tone we get carried away by the tone haven't you heard people at uh, times you know saying things like why are you raising your voice don't shout at me okay he is raising his voice because he got emotional or that's his way of talking but what was the content what is it that he said i need to respond to what the text of what he is saying not to his tone or his body language or his demeanor or his volume that we should keep away uh, from okay realize that criticism is a perception and nothing more every one of us has got our perception no somebody likes something somebody does not like something somebody has an attraction to something somebody has a revulsion to the same uh, thing so that is what we call as perception you will agree with me that perception comes anywhere between fact and fiction truth and lies it is a belief it is what that person actually thinks for whatever may be the uh, reason so when a person criticizes you if you have the large heartedness to express appreciation and thanks the person is saying this jacket that you are wearing doesn't suit you or it's bad or that thing which you that article that you wrote was not at all good or the way you have been behaving with people outside i don't think that's a nice way to do it so now that that person has expressed his criticism you express appreciation thank you for pointing it out to me that does not mean that you have accepted his criticism that it does not mean that you have said yes i was wrong all you are doing is putting the back you know ball back in his court and saying thank you for taking the trouble and you know telling me something which i may or may not have been aware of once you do that you will realize that you have laid the foundation for a positive or a harmonious interaction if you don't follow these points what happens is that there is a sort of tension building up there is a sort of you know a resistance or some wall is coming between the two of you and that 
will only make the other person go on and on and on looking for ways and means how he can go on criticizing how he can add more to whatever he had criticized uh, uh, earlier or how he can really hit you because he knows that you are getting defensive you are getting upset that was his aim no but on the other hand like i said if you were to express your appreciation and thanks okay i have a different opinion i had thought this is okay but now that you have pointed it out to me it helps me to think deeper it helps me to broaden my horizons and look at things in a better uh, way by doing that like i said you have paved the way and created a platform where the interaction or the discussion can go on further on a positive note that is extremely important otherwise here you are getting upset by the criticism and trying to be defensive or trying to hit back and that person knowing that you are taking it so seriously he you know feels that yes now i have been verified i have been i have achieved what my purpose is so i will continue on the same path i will go on criticizing this uh, person and if that person gets more and more angry with me i will say see i am trying to do good to him and see the way he is reacting and other people who may be part of this conversation or discussion and all that when that happens they will also realize that when you are reacting badly that somewhere maybe you are unhappy you are not confident about what you are uh, doing and their opinion about you also uh, changes the best way to take this conversation forward is again in the form of slides i'll show you the last few points how to take forward and how to accept this uh, deal with the criticism as i told you you realize that the criticism is a perception and nothing more so you have expressed your appreciation and your thanks after that ask questions don't say yes i agree don't say no 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 how can you say that this is not true or start giving your form don't reject it and don't meekly accept it put it back to the person by asking questions how do you do that a simple way is by repeating the criticism so if i gather right what you are saying is that this 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 is the thing so from what i understand what you said just now is that you are unhappy with this are you okay with that do you like this or do you want it in that way so by asking questions you can put the ball back in his court and if you are not ready with the answer if you are feeling defensive if you feel you are being cornered close the issue ask him to follow up later i have done that many times and you actually it works tell the person oh you feel so strongly about this 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 i think i also would like to give it a serious thought since you have said this so can we follow up later can we meet over the weekend and discuss or can i go back and send you a mail and give you my responses to what you have uh, uh, said once you have done that you reframe how you think of criticism keep that person aside the more you keep focusing on that individual why did he say this how dare he say that he is always out to put me down you are wasting your time whatever he is he is what you need to do is to decide if the criticism is valid focus on the text the context of the criticism is it valid does it make sense is it logical is it something to really give attention uh, to and to do that you have to ensure that it does not become a personal battle never raise your voice or anything and if you find that you are losing your temper or you're getting very irritated as i told you earlier ask for time so as far as possible whenever somebody is criticizing you and you are polite to the person you are disarming him you are not giving him ammunition to go on and on criticizing uh, you this politeness even if you can have a smile you nod your head you ask a few 
very general questions. How did you come to this conclusion? What are the different things that you feel are good or not good or whatever uh, the uh, thing is, OK? Then uh, comes the uh, uh, thing that, you know, decide if the criticism is uh, valid and make sure that it is not a personal uh, thing. For this, you actually need to put in a lot of practice. You need to be aware, as I told you, starting with, in general, become aware that there will be people who will be criticizing uh, uh, me. And if there is nobody around me to criticize me, there is something going wrong. That means I have surrounded myself with what we call as yes men, psychophants. People are either scared of me to point out where I'm going wrong, or people have written me off. No, what's the point in even telling him he will not uh, change? People may be having pity on uh, uh, me. Now, all this can be very, very harmful, not only to my future and my decision making, but also to my relationships. So I have to keep these you know, basic things in uh, mind. Only thing is, yes, Satyan has also asked the question. Anyway, I wanted to touch upon it. Be aware of the people who are constantly your critics. Whenever you do something good, they ignore you. Whenever you do something bad, you, you know, they are more than willing to bring it up immediately and persistently. There are some people like that. I want you to treat them differently from the other people. If you have somebody who genuinely accepts and praises you when you do something good, and at the same time is frank enough, open enough to tell you, no, I don't agree with this. I don't think this is the right thing, or I feel that here you are making a mistake. Differentiate between these two categories of people. And one more way of finding out you know, the nature of such people is observe when that person is talking to somebody else. Is he being critical to others also? Is he putting down one, two, three, four people? That's a very clear indicator that that is his habit. That is what he is used to. He wants to keep putting people down. That will help you to ensure that you don't take it personally. When he is shouting at everybody, when he is criticizing everybody, when he is putting down somebody, why should he exclude you? You are also part of the uh, thing, isn't it? So that makes it easier for you to not take things in a personal uh, manner. If, on the other hand, somehow that person, you know, keeps criticizing you, but does not criticize anybody else. Now, that's a different ball game altogether. What happens is sometimes somebody looks for a soft target. That person has his own frustrations or anger or whatever it is. Life is not really going well for that person. And that person wants to bring out the frustration. But the person also knows that if I start criticizing A, B, C, D, they will hit back at me. They may cut off relationship with me. They may go about bad mouthing me to others. So I better not take a chance. But somehow that person has felt that you are such a soft person. You will neither fight back nor will you, you know, respond in a negative manner. Nor will you go and tell other people that this person was criticizing me then you become what we call as a soft target. And when you become a soft target, the person tries to criticize you. And like I said, if temperamentally you are the type of person who does not respond, does not react, does not you know, justify or doesn't do anything like that, then you continue to be a soft target. And whenever he wants to let out frustration, he will do it only with you. Which brings me to perhaps the last point in this first half of the uh, session. Many of us 
are what we call as self critics we criticize ourselves we are not even aware of it when we are doing this you know so many of us uh, get into that habit of criticizing oneself and sometimes even before the issue or the incident comes up so i say that i have to have this meeting i have to go and give a presentation or i have to interact with somebody or i have to complete this particular assignment and i tell myself i don't think i will do a good job i don't think i am competent i don't think i will be able to succeed in this the moment you start getting those thoughts let me tell you it is the worst that can happen if another human being criticizes you you can insulate yourself you can refuse to listen you can keep away from the person you can emotionally detach from that person if nothing else but if you are your own critic if you keep putting yourself down you cannot run away from yourself you live with yourself 24 by 7 and that is what i want you to understand there was a very nice joke somebody told me the other day if you find that you are not having very good relationships at home with your people or family members or whatever uh, it is then do acquire a pet dog now you'll say what has that got to do with my relationship with my family the answer was that when you come home there will be at least one person who will be genuinely happy to see you things can go that bad also we don't even realize it there are times when you know we get surrounded by people who are criticizing us who are saying all sorts of things to us and we become so busy in defending ourselves that we stop doing the actual evaluation that is perhaps the bottom line of this whole discourse of today and the discussion that is every time that you receive a criticism either then there and then if you have the time and inclination or later after the person is no longer with uh, uh, you can you sit down and critically evaluate what was the truth what was the significance and what was the extent of the mistakes that were pointed out to me if a person is criticizing you on issues or not on you as a person be very thankful these are the people who can be very useful to you in improving yourself in moving forward in taking the right decisions and things if the same person keeps criticizing you as a person ali what a stupid fellow you are what ali you don't even have a dressing sense come on ali you can definitely do better than that you know why are you not achieving anything what's wrong with you ali you're always in a foul mood now this criticism is on the person and not on the issues if the same person says that i like you you have some good qualities yet i get a little you know perturbed because i see that you know, you become illogical at times last time when you had said this 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 you know it didn't make sense to me or rather it put me off i, I actually got hurt about it so when a person criticizes on issues be thankful to that person because there is some substance even if you don't agree with it doesn't matter you can actually go back take time from that person if you need to respond to him or her say just give me a little bit of time i will think over it i will try like to respond as i told you earlier thank that person express your gratitude i'm so happy that you took the trouble of not only evaluating me but also being frank enough to tell me so that may help me i will think over it and i'll get back to you use that time to think how important was that criticism how correct that criticism was and then you can take a decision whether to give significance to the person or not so this in a nutshell is what i wanted to share with you in the first half i already see some very interesting comments and questions on the chat box 
and I will answer that after the break. Yes, hello everyone. So like you are hearing uh, Ali talk about responding to criticism. Now criticism can really take a toll on uh, oneself. And if you are somebody who criticizes a lot or is listening to a lot of criticism or is busy evaluating yourself, then we at Banjara offer free counseling. So you can come, you can chat with us because we are not going to judge you. We are going to be empathetic and um, you know, we can take you through that process. And if you want to understand yourself, because counselors are like mirrors. So if you want to understand yourself, if you want to just sit, brainstorm, we at Banjara, like I told you, offer free counseling. Please get in touch with us anymore, face to face, uh, you know, calling us, video calls, even mails. Uh, and we keep the anonymity. So it is completely confidential. Now, the other thing when you come to evaluating is also your career so that you get evaluated where your aptitude, skills, and interests are, so that you don't face criticism there also. So we also do career counseling and the aptitude test. Again, career counseling is completely free at the academy. We are also starting our PGDP course. So that is the post-graduation in psychotherapies. So if you want to go in-depth in the therapies of learning of the mind, so then you can also get in touch with us on our office numbers and we will be more and most happy to take you through that. Have a good day and a good week and a good weekend. Thanks, Mira. And as you can see, the efficiency of Anish, she has already started highlighting the comments and questions in the serial order in which they have uh, come. The first one is from my very dear friend, Dr. Sai Kumar in Chennai, who says, good morning. Is there something like constructive criticism? It is a common trait, my take. If there is some truth in it, graciously, uh, graciously accept and action it or otherwise ignore. Yes. But the question, Dr. Sai, comes up, how do I find out whether it was constructive criticism? And that is, as I told you, the first step is to see whether the person is criticizing me as a person or criticizing certain issues or actions of uh, uh, mine. Secondly, is there any truth in it? Sometimes it helps to get a neutral opinion. So somebody as criticize me, I can get a third person's opinion without disclosing identity or you know breaching the confidentiality. I have been told by a known person that this I am not doing correctly or I'm making mistakes here or I'm not coming out in the proper manner. What do you think about it? And then finally use use your own logic. And if you are convinced that yes, it is what we call as constructive criticism. Please thank the person, even if it is later, you can send him a message or make a phone call or whatever it is and tell him that I mulled over what you said and I felt that it's a very constructive criticism. Thank you very much. And I am planning to implement uh, uh, it. Okay. Satyan says, but what about after repeated such implementation from our side as suggested by you? The person continues like that for years and years and just, not just with me, but with everyone. This is a very important point, Satyam. This is what I said. No, If you find that this person is generally a critical person, he likes to keep on putting others down. The problem lies within him. He is in that transactional analysis, the TA state, which says, I'm OK. You are not OK, meaning to say, I am this one perfect human being. All the others are stupid. Now, once you understand, if you observe and see that this person has been criticizing everybody and that too on a continuous basis, and that everybody includes you, 
you have to rise above the occasion, feel in fact pity on that person that, you know, poor fellow, he can't seem to be contented with the way life is treating him and going ahead and doing what he should be doing. Instead of that, he is time and again using up all his energies and putting other people down. And more so if there's nothing constructive in it. If you can physically keep away from that person, excellent. If you cannot, for whatever reason, then mentally and emotionally keep away from that person, right? Okay, Vishwanath. Yes, Vishwanath. Thank you for being with us. It's good to connect with you also back time. And I'm happy that my tips are going to be useful. That's what I always aim, that there should be a takeaway from this Saturday session where you can actually implement it in your life, right? Dr. Sai also says responding to content and not tone is easier said than done. Absolutely. The eye hormonal reaction is faster than rational reaction. Very true. That is why I'm cautioning you that it comes so naturally to us. If we manage to get that extra time to respond, much of the acrimony in the world will be avoided. Usually the aggressor goes on and uh, uh, on. Now, I am not worried about the aggressor. I'm worried more about myself. I'm worried about you. How do you cope with this criticism? That's why the topic was responding to criticism. So here is this aggressor who goes on and on. But if you have that calm, peace of mind. I started off the first thing by saying, you know, develop that serenity, that calmness that you can uh, have. Last Thursday, we had our classroom session once in a month on the third Thursday. Between 10 and 11, we have a classroom session where people come and sit with us. And the same way, you know, I give us a few points and then we have a lot of uh, interactive questions. So there I was talking about this thing called serenity. The more you build up that serenity, the more you build up your mindfulness, the more you are in the present and focusing on yourself and your existentialism, the less that criticism will affect uh, you. Sucheta says, how to react to someone who has personal relationship or someone close to heart is a criticizer. As I told you, first ask yourself, can I be calm? I love this person. I like this person. This person is close to me. So I'm not going to spoil my relationship by reacting or throwing it back. First, focus on developing that. Once you have developed that and you are at peace and you are not getting agitated, at least a few times make an attempt to talk to the person. And when you talk to the person, you don't, you know, in re retaliation, criticize the person by saying, you are always putting me down. You never accept me. You never praise me for anything. You always say wrong things about me. Don't do that. Put it on yourself. Say, I feel hurt. Because you are so important to me. When you say something, it matters a lot to me. And the last, give concrete examples. Day before yesterday, when you said this, 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 I felt a little disappointed. I felt hurt. Use the right words. I felt let down. Actually, you know, I felt very angry at that moment. But then I like you so much and I'm so close to you. I don't want that anger to remain. So I thought I'll talk it over with you. Only if you find that that person's temperament is such that he will continue to criticize you regardless of what you do. There's a continuous criticism for some reason or the other. Then you have to decide whether you can physically keep away, whether you can mentally keep away, emotionally keep away, or even if you are getting hurt by it, how do you counterbalance it by having one or two equally important people in your life who appreciate you, who praise you, who accept you unconditionally. <clears throat> so that balances out with this close person who is being critical all the time. Sometimes assertiveness also helps. Build up that thing called assertiveness. Right? Sureka says, how can we reply and sell ourselves when others criticize us? Start off by being calm. Start off by understanding that the problem is his and not mine. I told you, whenever there's a constructive criticism, appreciate, acknowledge, thank the person and say, please continue to tell me and point out to me 
so that I can improve. If you are not convinced that it is constructive criticism, then try to ignore. If it is a person close enough to you who listens to you, tell that person that every time you say these things, I feel a little hurt. And since I love you, I care for you, I like you, I don't want our relationship to get spoiled. Keep trying. It's a continuous thing. You don't know where it will work and where it will not uh, work. Roshan says, my late husband has always taught me never to react to criticism. But he was another extreme like Jesus Christ. If you slapped on one cheek, give another. This is not true for me and I don't belong to the same category. I have now learned to be patient, to respond and not react to criticism. Good enough. You have achieved what was uh, needed. And in case you have a doubt, then please remember Sanju Baba in the Gandhiji's uh, films. You know, th that was lovely two films that uh, uh, he uh, brought out, Munna Bhai. He said, Jesus Christ said, when somebody slaps you on one cheek, you offer the other cheek. When he offered the other cheek, that man slapped him on the other cheek. And then he said that Jesus Christ never said you keep quiet after he has slapped you on the second cheek. So he hits him back. Of course, that's in a lighthearted manner. But I'm trying to tell you that there is always some ways and means to balance your life, to balance your interactions. And one bottom line of this is to remember that never allow that one criticizer to become your focal point, however close he is to you. Never allow that person to dominate your thoughts. You cannot stop him from speaking. You cannot stop him from criticizing. But you can definitely stop his words from reaching your mind and disturbing you. Work, focus on that. It can be done to greater or lesser extent. Sridhar says, how to go about when the same person criticizes you again, saying, I have already told you not to do this way, but again you are doing it. When will you change? You don't know anything. See, you don't know anything is a personal attack. I cautioned you about it. But when that person says, I already told you not to do it this way and you're doing it this way, ask him for time. Say that since you have told me earlier and you still feel upset about whatever I'm doing, I would like to respond to you. You are important to me. I'd like to think over. I just don't want to you know, either accept it blindly or to reject it or whatever. So let me think over. And that is when you think over this person who is being constantly telling you that you should do this, you should do that. Do I really need to change? Am I doing something bad? I even told you to take a third person's opinion on that. If you have even partially an acceptance that I need to change, tell that person, you know, this aspect that you told me, I found that to be very useful. And I felt that I should bring about a change. So I'm going to start now. If I fall back or if I'm too slow, please feel free to tell me. That will perhaps, you know, give me an impetus to see. That's where it becomes constructive criticism. On the other hand, if you feel that, no, I think what I'm doing is right. Just because this person is forcing me and putting pressure on me, I'm not going to uh, change. One of the easy ways is to bargain and take time. Right now, I'm not in a position to bring about the change. Give me some time. I will think over it. I will work on it. And then I'll get back to you. At least you buy time from that person. And once you calm down and you decide what to do, decide how you want to continue your relationship with that person so that the person doesn't keep criticizing you on a continuous basis. Surekha says, how can we give feedback to our loved ones in ways that will motivate them to improve rather than defend? Two basic rules, uh, uh, Surekha. One is criticize the action and do not criticize the person. Never put the person uh, down. The second is what I told you some time back. Use the sandwich method. Think of one or two good things that this person does. This is also a very important aspect of uh, you know, responding or accepting criticism. Think of the good things of that person. 
we get so bogged down by the negativity by the fact that he is telling us things which you know we are not very happy listening to but if that person has also given you some positive feedback if that person has also been nice to you think of that keep a mental note of that and when you need to respond to this person start off by saying i have seen that you have always appreciated this act of mine i'm thankful to you that you have been encouraging me in this at the same time as far as the other issue is concerned you have expressed that you are not happy or you want me to uh, change there again you decide whether you want to change even partially then you tell him he will be very happy that you have yourself admitted that yes i'm going to start changing if there is no scope for you to change ask for time and again end up by saying something positive that's very important do not end up a conversation or an interaction on an unpleasant note on an unpleasant topic so again bring out something positive and then close that discussion and take time anushree says time and again we have been told that we are not good enough so how to ignore this sometime or the other it does catch up with us so how can we ignore such criticism this is a very nice point which you have brought out it starts with childhood remember that the criticism that we get in childhood from our significant adults people whom we respect people whom we love people whom we feel belonged to amma appa grandfather grandmother teacher whoever the important adults are if unfortunately they have this habit of continuously putting you down it leaves a very deep impact you grow up you have proven yourself you have achieved a lot you have good relationships you have a good success graph professionally personally you are doing well but somewhere deep down those voices keep ringing in you if that happens you need to systematically work on it i'm not going to give you a shortcut solution because there is no shortcut solution when it is so deep rooted that there has you mean drilled into it continuously from your innocent years then you need to take help and go through the process of healing yourself which has to be discussed on a one to one basis as meera told you a little while back we do free counseling we are available to anybody in person on phone or through email so think of that give yourself enough importance to say i want to heal myself i want to get over this constant criticism which seems to have become part of me sometimes i told you know it can become self criticism also we also start criticizing ourselves just because we have been criticized so many times the moment you find yourself doing that please become aware and start doing something about it you need to help yourself Ah, ji, Saraf Saab, all the way from Maharashtra, is our regular interactor, and I'm very happy to have him. He says criticism should be for good purpose. Not politicians do it professionally. Yes, I agree, hundred percent. I agree. From your side, make sure that whenever you criticize somebody, it is for a good purpose. It is to genuinely help the person, not just to show off that I know better than you, uh, etc. and the same thing applies in the reverse that when somebody is criticizing you make sure that it is not that political game which lot of people play forget about the politicians even we sometimes play politics in our own relationships and with our colleagues and so many people like that as long as you are aware of it as long as you take that precaution you will ensure that you will not get into bad relationships asha says how to tackle elderly aunts and uncles when they constantly criticize without making dents in relationships yes unfortunately some people as we grow old we start getting a feeling that i am losing control over my life and over my relationships so i start feeling that i should you know do something ab- uh, about it and what is the easiest way of doing it catch hold of people who are younger than me or who are you know connected or related to me and start criticizing 
because I feel that because I have lived longer in this world, I'm wiser than you. And I have a right to impose my views and to criticize your uh, views. Actually, you need to have pity on such people. If there's somebody like that who's very close to you, it may be your own parent, it may be somebody whom you really care for, then work on that parent to build back a sense of emotional security. Forget about the criticism that the person has given. At a neutral time, go back to the person and start talking to the person about how was your life earlier? What are the things that you have learned in your life? I was told that in your generation, you were given a lot of values and you were you know, brought up with very good morals and you know, right principles. Would you like to share with me whatever the things? When you encourage that person to share, there will be criticism from that person. That person will start talking about himself or herself and keep putting you and your generation down. Don't take it seriously. Take it as an opportunity for that person and say, okay, do you think this is practical? Do you think this is happening? Do you think it should not happen? Like that, go on with that. Add it to that. You know, Roshan says, there is good, huh? Requires a lot of practice to be patient and respond to criticism. Yes, exactly. That's why we are discussing it so much in you know, detail. Always want to snap at people who hurt your feelings. But with experience and maturity, one develops to control. And as Ali rightfully said, criticism is a perception. But to think on those lines requires great practice. That's the reason why I tell you, I am here only to you know, sort of highlight a few things, make you aware of certain things and give you the good news that it can be done. But the point which is very, very important in this is that you have to constantly practice on a long-term basis. The more you practice, the easier it becomes, like in any other skill. First time you learned how to use the computer or the smartphone, first time you learned how to do cycling, anything like that. Initially, it was difficult. But how did you achieve it after getting the right instructions? You practiced. The more you practiced, the easier it uh, became. Sucheta says, how to help kids who lack self-confidence and try to criticize themselves even after we have confidence in them. I would like to highlight one point that when you say self-confidence, it is more of self-esteem, which is low. A child who does not have confidence, confidence is related to a particular skill. I'm not confident riding a cycle. I'm not confident doing math sums. I am not confident in winning this uh, you know, tournament. Those are connected to issues or activities. But a self-critic is a person with low self-esteem. The person generally puts oneself down. Even before he does it, he starts sort of telling himself that I am going to fail. I am no good. I can't do this. That is to protect himself or herself from the pain of failure. So finally, it becomes a self-prophecy. When I have told myself that I am going to fail, the chances of my failing become much, much more higher. And that is where you need to help children. Boost the self-esteem of the child. Start off with highlighting small, small qualities. Tell the child himself or herself to start maintaining a diary. Every day, write down one good quality of yours. It can be a very simple thing. It could be that I saw trash on the road and I picked it up and put it in the trash bin. I don't allow my locality to be uh, dirty. I met an elderly person whom I didn't know, but I went up to him very respectively and I addressed him as uncle and I told him, do you need any help? He said, no, thank you. And I did that. So these are all my good qualities, good actions. And as long as you keep praising the child and encouraging the child, slowly the self-esteem and also the confidence builds up. Roshan says, my brother-in-law dominates his whole family. He has a placard fixed on the wall that I am the boss and no one has a right to dictate to me. During meals, nobody speaks as everybody is scared of him. 
I cannot keep quiet. So I would talk on a positive note to bring the family together. Too much domination in a family has brought unhappiness and disharmony. It's a very interesting case what Roshan has pointed out to, to us. Why does a person who is the head of the family have a need to put up a placard saying that I am the boss? Because he's not sure whether he's a boss. He's not sure whether I deserve to be the boss. So he goes on advertising it. There was a joke also of the person who says that, you know, I am the boss of my family and I have my wife's permission to say so. So things like that, we can only have pity on them as they grow older and older. It becomes a little difficult to change their attitude. But you can definitely be of help and support to the family members who are suffering because of such a person. Give them a little boost. Tell them that, you know, just because your father or your husband says that you are bad or you're not doing it, it doesn't mean that it's a truth. It is only his perception. And his perception has probably got more and more affected because he's getting old. He feels he's losing control over life, you know, over relationships. So take it in that stride. Okay. Nagishri says, good morning. Adolescents build a lot of resistance to whatever parents say, how to make them understand and to be open to constructive criticism. They have a lot of opposition for the criticizing teachers in the college too, how to deal with them. Yes, you're absolutely right that they are, you know, are not open to listening. So that's why I say you have to create that awareness from within them. Firstly, by being a role model. Secondly, by appreciating the good things that the person is uh, uh, doing so that the person realizes that you are not just criticizing or putting them down. Asking questions and listening to them, adolescents always want to be listened uh, to. Once that is uh, done, try as far as possible to create an awareness within that adolescent. What is good for you and what is bad? Okay, you say that this teacher always puts you down. That is the temperament of the teacher. The teacher is a grown-up person. The teacher is in a position of authority. Can you change that teacher? No, you can't. So, can you move on to seeing how best you can do to yourself? The more you focus on the teacher or any elder who is putting you down, you are the loser. Why don't you focus on yourself and do something for your own uh, self? Dr. Sai says how to help loved ones who carry a load of bad memories or criticism or uh, comment. It does affect in the long run. Yes, Dr. I absolutely agree with you. And we work a lot with adults who have this trauma of childhood of being put down or being criticized or being abused in certain uh, ways who have been traumatized. It's again a long drawn out process, but it can be done. That is one of the areas which I work in every now and uh, then. Thank you, Usna. Thank you for your thanks and uh, for appreciating that it's a good topic. I also feel that, you know, I talk whenever I feel that there is a need and something can be done. I don't talk on things which cannot be changed. I always talk on things where I know that Many of us are getting affected by it and are suffering because of these things. At the same time, we can do something to change that uh, position or to change the way things are uh, going. That is what we focus on and that is what we have been doing all the uh, time. And that is what we have done today also. And as the hour strikes, the noon uh, bell I will be taking leave of you. I thoroughly enjoyed so many different variety of comments and questions that came up. Please keep giving me feedback like that. I learn a lot through this and I can in turn share it with the others, which is what I'm expecting you to do also. Tell people that this remains in the Facebook page, even if 11 to 12 on Saturday is not a convenient time for them to listen, not they've forgotten. They can always log in and you know uh, watch it anytime later also. So keep doing that and I will be taking your leave now with Anis telling you about next Saturday's topic, which is importance of writing, something which people just don't realize in today's electronic era. Why, how and what is the significance, what you can do to improve on this skill of writing is what we will be discussing 
next Saturday, that is 26th November at 11 o'clock. Thank you and bye-bye.